In this example, we're looking at a sine wave with a DC offset. So we've got sine omega t, that's our oscillating wave, with an amplitude of A max. We have the phase shift theta, now we have a DC offset. So we've got a 10 volt amplitude, 100 hertz wave, 30 degrees phase shift, that's plus 30 so it's leading, and a 3 volt DC offset. So if the black line is a pure sine wave, the blue line is our new sine wave, we can see it's moved to the left, that is it's got a leading phase angle. We can also see that it's lifted by 3 volts. So the pure sine wave has a peak of 10 volts. This sine wave, its peak is 3 volts higher. But it's not just the positive peak that's 3 volts higher, the negative peak is also 3 volts higher. The whole wave has been lifted up by 3 volts. If we look at the phase shift, we go from the peak of the pure sine wave and we can see that this blue sine wave has moved to the left by 30 degrees. If you can't see that you can see that the peak of the black sine wave which occurs at 90 degrees, the blue sine wave peaks one third of the way back to zero, one third of the way earlier. So 30 is a third of 90 degrees. Now if we look at the wave equation and we look at time t equals zero, so here we've got the wave equation, time t equals zero, at V0, voltage at time zero, is 10 volts sine omega zero, because T is zero. Sine omega zero plus 30, plus three volts. So if we have a look at that equation here, omega T plus 30 just becomes 30, sine of 30. So 10 volts by sine of 30 plus three, 10 volts times a half is five, plus three is eight. So at time t equals zero, the wave is eight volts. So this is a AC wave with a phase shift and a DC offset.